Good morning. I wanted to get back to you on uh, some of the first week's discussion problems. Um, I tried to make a comment to one of your responses, whether it was to another classmate or from your original post, and um, I wanted to review a couple of those. So the first one I want to take a look at is your cost question with average cost and average revenue. It's very important, one of the key principles is thinking about the marginal cost and marginal revenue. Everything, all of the action with decision making happens at the margin. And uh, so this is on page 45 of your text. And I'm just kind of showing you that they have the uh, marginal cost equation. And uh, 44 had the marginal revenue equation. And this concept of average and marginal is going to carry through the rest of the semester, so it's important to get that framework down. <clears throat> I want you to think of your overall GPA you've got going in the program currently. Suppose that you currently have a <clears throat> 3.2. So your overall GPA after you've taken um, six classes is a 3.2. What happens if things don't go so well and on your next uh, spring two, maybe it's this class, let's hope it's not, but uh, your semester grade falls to a 2.5. Is your overall GPA going to fall to 2.5? No, because you have all of those classes that are built up making up the 3.2. This is just one class being contributed to the overall average. So your overall average is going to fall though. So and I'm just making up numbers here. Let's just say that your, your 3.2 falls to 3.0. The next semester you buckle down, you do extra work and you make extra time and, and you do and you want to improve so much on what you did last semester and you get a 3.0. What's going to happen to your overall GPA? It's going to stay the same. That contribution of the semester grade to your overall GPA keeps it constant. Then you do an extraordinary amount of effort and a little bit of luck and all of that type of thing and you hit a 4.0 on the next semester. Is your GPA gonna rise to 4.0? No, because we have all of that previous history of the average classes. And so your GPA is going to rise somewhat, but probably not uh, even closer to 4.0. So maybe we'll leave it with a 3.3. Oops, looks like I'm starting to run off my page. So, um, this is a relationship between marginal and average. The semester grade is your marginal grades. And so each time we add some new information, that is what's going on at the margin. And that's where the decision is, is how you're going to do this semester, right? What are the things going on now? You might observe your previous average, but what's more important is what's going on currently. And this is how your semester grade will impact your overall average. We're gonna see this come up time and time again. Uh, in the case of the, of the firm, it's possible that if we produce 100 units of a good, the hundredth unit costs much more than the previous 99 if we isolate it down to the additional unit. So bear that in mind as you're thinking about, as you start to see average and marginal, we're going to see that coming up in these uh, next chapters um, from here on out. And so hopefully this helps out a little bit with that. We'll talk to you later.